What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js video. In this video, we have something very cool and special, and that is we're going to be coding a Minecraft server status Discord bot. This bot is going to be getting the status of a Minecraft server, which includes the IP, the ports, the number of players online, as well as the max players, and as well as a bunch of other information that you can pretty much send to whoever wants to use it on your Discord server using this Discord box. And hopefully you'll learn something new and maybe you have some use for something like this. So if you're new here, this is a channel where I code different Discord bots and I just kind of take suggestions from the comment section below and I kind of just start coding. This video wasn't really suggested, but I kind of decided, hey, why not? Let's make something fun. Uh, so this is what we're going to be coding for this video. So if you don't know of, you know, Discord.js or how to set up your bots or anything like that, make sure to watch the first two videos of the playlist. The first video will pretty much explain how to set up the bots, how to interact with the Discord developer tools and how to set everything up. The second video will teach you how to do the command handler so we can kind of uh, be able to you know handle all the commands and stuff like that uh, so make sure you watch those first two videos and then after come here and if you already know all of this then let's go ahead and get started so there's actually one package that we have to install using mpn and the package if i pull it up here it's called the minecraft server util this is an npm package and the way we install it is we do this little command here I'll actually leave this in the description below if you guys want to kind of read through everything. Uh, but this is a very cool package. Uh, so open up your terminal, your console, whatever, and just, oh, that's not what we wanted to paste in. I guess we didn't copy it, so let's just copy it real quick. And let's paste it in. And that is going to install the Minecraft server util package into our uh, little node.js project that we have going. All right, so we have that installed. Let's go ahead and start coding this bot. The first thing I'm actually going to do is instead of coding everything now and how do we can display all the information, I wanna show you guys what information is going to be displayed and what information we're getting. Uh, so you guys kind of have a clue of uh, everything that we're getting when we're getting the response from the Minecraft server. So we are just going to simply uh, first we have to require that library that we have so let's just go up here and do const I'm just gonna name it ping and it's just gonna require and this is minecraft the server util just like this one more thing I'm gonna have the code in the description below in a paste bin so if you want to kind of just get the code instead of watching the video go ahead and do that uh, I don't really care so let's go ahead now ping the server and for a test we're just going to get the information from hypixel which is the most popular minecraft server uh, so we are going to need this function called ping that we're getting from uh, from somewhere you guys don't really have to know that unless you want to get dive into a javascript and we are going to first thing pass in the server IP address, which is usually a set of numbers or some servers have uh, kind of like a new URL. So for this, uh, if you come here, we are going to get play that Minecraft, oh, the hypixel.net. And then we are also, and let me actually pull this up because if you go right here, it'll actually tell you what we need to do. Uh, but for here, we are just going to do a comma, and in here we are going to get the port. Most micro servers is 25565, and that's what we're going to do here. So 25565, and now we are going, if you look here, we are just going to try getting two things. We're going to get an error, and we're going to get a response, and this is just a little bit of a promise system that we have here from JavaScript. Uh, so if we do get an error when we try getting information from Hypixel, we're just going to throw the error and see what we got. And if we got a response, we're just going to console that log the response. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's just pass in an error and also a response. And let's do an error function and open this up. So if we get an error, so if error, we are just going to throw the error. And that will kind of handle the error for now. Uh, so throw error did i do something wrong let's just make sure i don't think i did anything wrong maybe i did uh yeah forgot there's a comma here sorry about that 
All right, and then we are just gonna console that log, and we are just gonna log the response. So now when we do the command MC, we are going to get a bunch of stuff on our console or our terminal here. So let's go ahead and start the bot, and let's go let's go to our server, and we did the command MC. So MC, we are going to get so much stuff in our terminal. This right here is just an address to the Fabicon which you could use on something like a embed which we are going to do but here you can see that we got a lot of information about mc hypixel and that is we got the host which is pretty much the address or the ip then we got the port which is normally 25565 we got the version of the minecraft server so for hypixel you can play from 1.8 all the way to 1.14 uh, or 1 point yeah 1.14 uh, so those are the required Minecraft versions to play on the Hypixel. You got the protocol version, not going to use this much. And then you got something very cool, which is the online players and then the max players. So there's currently 32,000 know, online players and there is a max capacity of 95,000. And then you got a text description, which is pretty much encrypted. But as you can see, uh, this is just some minecraft coding for the chat color but it's just high pixel network and that and then we also got forging island which i'm guessing it's some kind of uh description so it's like the title this is the description and then you got uh, the image which you can get if you can just get all of this information and try getting the image of the server which is pretty much going to be hard so we're not going to do that for now all right so we got all the information we did now all we have to do is kind of sort it out into a rich embed and try giving it back to whoever sent this message right here and the way we're going to do that is very easy we have an embed so like most videos to do this you just do const embed and it's going to be new rich embed and in here we are just going to add a title if i'm correct how do i do this you set title I haven't done this in a while i know i've been gone for quite some time and I'm getting back into Discord.js, so I kind of have to do some things. So for the for the embed, we're going to do the title of, of server status. And then we are going to start adding some fields. So add field. And in here, we are going to get some cool information. And for the first information, we are going to do server IP. And then let's actually just copy and paste this. Let me remove this comma. Copy and paste this for a bit. And for the second information, we're probably going to do version, server version, I'm guessing we could just do that. And then let's do online players to so see how many online players there are online players. And then we're going to do max players. Why not max players? All right. So we're actually going to copy this embed and delete it and actually enter it inside the ping function here. So I forgot how you know, to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And now what we can do is very simple. If we open the, the, you know, the terminal up, we see that we kind of got an object. So this is a JavaScript object object and we got the response with an object with different uh, kind of things in there uh, that we can use to kind of locate the information. So if you want to get the host, we're going to get play.mc or play that high pixel on that. If you want to get the version, it's going to get this. So the way we do that is let's just remove the console.log and let's add commas up here and here. Uh, not in the title. Let's not do the title. So in the field, let's do a comma. And this is going to be the other side of the field. So it's going to be kind of like the left side. And then the right side, what we're going to do is do response. And for the IP, I think it was host. It's actually useful if you have the terminal up. And kind of see what these fields are so host is play that mc that or play that, i keep saying mc play that high pixel done that and then for version i'm going to do response so response uh that version and then for the online players is response dot online and a capital p for players and then one last thing, which is response dot max capital P for player players. And I think that should be it. Now, all we have to do is pretty much just send the embed. So we can do channel or message that channel that send. 
and we're gonna send the embed which is this right here and now if we kind of clear everything out and do node space dot and come here into our server here and we do the command mc we are going to get the embed worth the server status so we got server ip we got high pixel we got the version of the server which is basically 1.8 to 1.14 the online players and the max players all displayed in a nice embed now i'm gonna do one quick thing one more thing in this video and that is what if you want to get other servers so right now we only have high pixel but what if um, someone wants to do another server. Uh, I don't know. Let's just do something like uh, server. That's something. Uh, that's actually a terrible example. I don't know any other Minecraft servers. Uh, let's actually Minecraft servers. As you can see, I, was I kind of searched it not that long ago. Uh, sure, this one, Mind Superior. Let's say someone wants to get the information from this server instead of Hypixel and they want to do something like this so right now this won't work this will just return high pixel so let's go ahead and implement that right now so to do this we want to kind of check that there are two parameters and those parameters are the or not parameters there's two arguments that the member of your discord server has to send aside from the command and that is the ip as well as the ports they do have to send the port because that's also very important so to check that there is at least two arguments, we're just going to just say that if there's no second argument, we are just going to, and no second argument, so let's do that. We are just going to uh, return, and we are going to return message that channel, uh, channel that send, and we're just going to send them saying, you must say, or type, I don't know, a Minecraft server ip for the first argument and then for the second argument that is the port we are going to say for the second one you must type in minecraft server port and that will make sure that there's at least two arguments being sent to our code here uh, and you can do any you know a lot more validations but for this video we're going to keep it kind of simple and then what we're going to do is we're going to replace the point that high pixel.net with args one and for the second one, we're going to just replace it with args2. However, I think we have to parse this as an int. And you do this like this, I'm sure, in JavaScript. So parse int and in here, the second arguments. And I think with that, we should be good to go. So let's clear and do node space dot. And when we check in here, if we just do mc, it's just going to say, hey, you must type a server IP. And we do mc and then an actual IP, which we're going to get right here. Uh, oh, it's just going to get some spaces. That's kind of dumb. Let's just copy it now. And we send the IP without a port. It's going to say you must send the port. Usually it's going to be 25565. Uh, if you don't know the port, it's going to get a little bit difficult uh, because you do need the port to get the information. Usually I would say these things have the port. But if you don't know the port, just try 25565. That's what most Minecraft servers are going to be. But if we enter this, you can see that we got the information from uh, mcs.gg. And they have 2,532 players. And if we check right here, they kind of lost a little bit of players since we uh, started doing this. But we also have a max of 8,000 players. And you can do this with everything. So if you go back to play that high pixel dot net and we do two five two five five six five it's gonna ping or get the information from hypixel and you can do this with your own private server if you're trying to create like a you know bot for your server or you're trying to create a client spot for their server then you can do something like this but that that's pretty much it pretty cool that is how you get the information from a minecraft server and how you add it into discord.js and how you create a cool discord bot with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Discord.js videos, and I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.